April 19, 1775, on Paul Revere's Midnight Ride. June 17th. <sighs> Battle of Bunker Hill. Good. Valley Ford, winner of 17 Come on, Mandy, I've got to show you something. What, more gummy worms? And by the way, if I find one more fake spider in my bed tonight, I'm telling Dad how that raccoon got in his bathtub. <laughs> this is for real, Amanda. Maddie, I have to study. You know history is my worst subject. It's them, the ghosts. The hallway man and his lady love come to avenge their tragic death. That's the win. Weren't you listening to the real estate lady? There's a whole legend here. Mandy, you've got to come. All right. Let's see. Yeah. Did you hear that? It's wood contracting as the temperature decreases. You're so boring. Maddie, I have my entrance exam and my interview for Concord Tech next week. I've told you a hundred times. I have to get in. No, you only told me 99 times. <laughs> For someone who wants to become a scientist, you're not very precise. <laughs> See, it's hollow. It's probably a secret passageway. Exactly where ghosts live. You call me boring? I'm not the one running around pounding on walls. <laughs> I know it's exciting to move into a new house, but if this is about something you broke... Oh my God, you broke the house. <laughs> Stay right there. Off the fireplace. Yes. Oh. Send and deliver. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> Great work, Marlowe. Really intimidating. Jolly good? Fine. Well, carry on, darling. <laughs> I like it. Who are you? What are you doing here? Daddy, the ghost. I mean, you can't look at one man, can you? One man without oh. making a remark. Hey, hey, buddy, you want to put that thing away? I mean, is it too much to ask that once, just once, maybe you didn't hear me? <laughs> we can do this all night if you want to. Go. Go. Jack Marlowe's a name. Black Jack Marlowe, they call me. And, uh... This is my woman, Cassandra. Woman? Right. As though he'd make an honest woman of me after taking what he wanted. I didn't take anything, my dear. I merely borrowed what was so readily available. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. The highwayman and his lady love from the poem. You know, the highwayman came riding, riding down to the old inn door. Right? Right. That piece of tripe. <laughs> Paul Revere liked it. Paul Revere? Can... You knew him? Oh, yes. What a geek. <laughs> Held him up on the highway five times, same place. Boy, was he slow. <laughs> Not always. You know. Time. Hold it. Sorry. I don't buy it. I'll buy this. Here, stand back. Be gone. Bye. Bye. Yeah, fine. You got a problem with that? Out. What? You threatening me? Oh, I'm quaking. <laughs> Great work, darling. It's really intimidating. <laughs> Listen, kiddo. Who do you think you're talking to? I started out in construction. I've been threatened by ex cons I've been threatened by the mob. I'm giving my resume to 200-year-old dead people. <laughs> ah! oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you ever get one of them itches that just really drives you nuts? <laughs>
It's like a fungus or something. What is this? Nothing. I'm Silas. I'm Dan. I'm gonna throw up. Who's Silas? Silas is the guy who used to slop the pigs. Yeah, pigs. Pigs are great, you know. They're really smart. I'm not kidding. They're much smarter than dogs, and they're clean, too. Look, he's not our fault, okay? We're stuck with him. Stuck with him? Well, it was the way we died. See, we were up on a ceiling beam getting... A... Getting some exercise. And he gave way. When we fell, we fell on him. Dismembering me totally. <laughs> Put your foot back on. <laughs> hey, you ever seen Ghost Andrew? <laughs> hey, want to see Ghost Knock? No! That's enough. All right, look. Whoever you are, whatever you are, we live here now. This, I want you to leave. <laughs> He still doesn't get it, does he? We live here. And we don't like intruders. Wait a minute. If they're ghosts, they can't hurt us. They can only try and scare us. So, go ahead. Do your work. Give us your best shot. You know they're beginning to get on my nerves. I'm just glad your mother isn't here to see this. Not that there's anything wrong with your mom. She's a fine woman. Fine woman. We know, Dad. But she doesn't have a haunted house. Definitely lame. <laughs> Hello, darling. Oh, I'm sick and tired of doing all the work around here. My raise. I'm in. They called us lame. I can live with that. Oh, fine. Don't help. Let's just forget it. Let's just forget the whole thing. Oh, darling. You're simply ravishing when you're sarcastic. Oh, my God. Shut up. You! 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 Oh. oh. Guys, I thought we had to get rid of them. Oh. All right, I'll do it myself. Quack, 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 quack. Silas! Jack, come on. All right, everyone, our best effort. Sorry, I, I thought... <laughs> I'm Miss Gordon, the headmistress of the Concord Technical School. Miss Gordon. Come in! We've been trying to call you to confirm Amanda's interview. <gasps> but your phone is being Are you all right? Me? Huh. Of course. <laughs> We do like to meet the families of prospective students, but uh, if this isn't a good time... Oh, fine time. Fine time. Could, couldn't be finer. <laughs> Hang up your coat. Thank you. No, not there. <laughs> Pardon me. I, I really think I'd better be going. Stop it. What? Who? No, no, no not here. Well, then, who? Oh, who's the stuff? Shut up! Well, I must. 
Speaking for Concord Deck, I am appalled. Goodbye. What about Amanda's interview? Consider it canceled. Canceled? Oh, you! You do with everything! Mandy! My little girl's been studying her heart out all summer long to get into that school. Chemistry, astrophysics, bio... bio... What is that? What's that smell? Silas. Silas! What? Tom and time, so we have to tell you to keep your feet on. I mean, this is really disgusting. It really is. It's really gross. It is, Silas. It really is. All right, all right. Hold your potatoes. I'm coming. Daddy, what am I going to do about school? First things first. All right, let me make this real clear. I want you out now. Tough luck, Dad. You can't get rid of us. And then you destroy our room. <laughs> really? Daddy, what are you going to do? Something that should have been done 200 years ago. Oh, wait. Wait, don't be such a speedy seek, Reed. Why don't we talk? We're lovely people when you get to know us. All right, we're not lovely, but we're not terrible. All right, we're terrible. But we're not terrible. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't destroy that room. The children. The children? Yes. They need a warm maternal present. Oh, I love children. Why, your little girl and I felt an instant kinship, didn't we, Melissa? Amanda. Whatever. <laughs> well, we can help around the house. I mean, I'm very good with my hands. Oh, yes, he is. I mean, he's, he's very handy. I've got handy. I've also got a contractor's license. I've also got power tools. I can turn your room into sawdust in ten minutes. Find another house, folks. You're history. Hey, Dave. You ever thought of, like, switching to decaf? <laughs> you did it. They're really gone. Maddie. I did what had to be done. What are we going to do about Miss Gordon? Don't worry, honey. I'm going to take care of that right now. You stay here with your brother and fix something to eat. I'm just glad your mother isn't here. No, no, I don't mean that. Your mother? We no. know, Dad. <laughs> They're back. So, some broad's nailing the old man for alimony. Well, no wonder he's cranky. Don't you ever say anything like that about my mom. People get divorced, it happens. And get your feet off the coffee table. You're not even supposed to be here. Hey, don't get so riled up. Oh, don't tell me not to get riled up. You're the one that riled me up. Oh. Uh. Man, for you, Silas. <clears throat> so, this science stuff really matters to you. No. No. I had a plan for my life, but that's all over now. Don't worry about it. I'm sure I can get a real nice job at McDonald's drive thru Can I take your order, please? <laughs> talent. That's good, Mandy. Try. You want fries with that? <laughs> you really wanted to get into this fly-by-night place? Concord Tech happens to have been there since 1775. I mean, it used to be the Concord Day School for young ladies. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The Concord Day School? <laughs> they expelled me. But you know why? Because I was poor. Because I was an innkeeper's daughter. <laughs> because I wasn't good enough. Because of that incident with the Minutemen, darling. Well, that too. <laughs> but nevertheless, it wasn't right. I'd never forgiven that place. It's that 
Miss Gordon person and a pencil neck for glasses. Oh, no. <laughs> Watch this. I'll get rid of her. Huh? No. I'll take care of this. <laughs> I believe she left her coat here. Splendid taste. I'm Sandra Marlowe, Amanda's aunt, and this is my husband, Jack. My husband and I usually have the tea at this time. Oh, who is this handsome man? But this is Professor Froelich, the head of our science lab. Oh, then you must meet our little science genius. You can lighten up on the husband bit. Oh, right. After 200 years, you wouldn't want to rush into anything, would you? This used to be an inn. From colonial times, wasn't it? Yes. As a matter of fact, George Washington slept here. Oh, bring that up again, why don't you? The poor is so authentic. Someone must have a wonderful touch. Yes, I do. Shouldn't we be getting some tea for our guests? Dearest? Oh, yes. Of course. Excuse us. <laughs> so, Amanda, tell us about yourself. Uh, well, she's got a cute brother. Slut! I saw you throwing yourself at him. Oh, yeah. Tweed makes me hot. <laughs> I was trying to help, which is more than you were doing, you seething lout. <clears throat> <laughs> You're giving all that back, Marlow. Hey, I don't have to take a bath, do I? It's only 1989. <laughs> We've got to help that little girl. Since when did you become Mother Teresa? She's not a bad kid. She's got spirit. Doesn't she remind you just a little of me at her age? No need to insult the poor girl, darling. <laughs> Jack, where's Silas? Oh, dear. I'm the only one with mud to keep cool, you know. They can't sweat like we can. And they make great pets. I'm not kidding. Silas. Better than dogs? Much better than dogs. Oh, Silas, <laughs> why don't you go outside and dig the troughs? The troughs? We're gonna get some pigs. <laughs> They're long, obedient. When you get tired of them, you can eat them. We well, can do that with dogs too, I guess. <laughs> he hasn't been well lately. <laughs> so, have you seen the ghosts? The ghost? Surely you must have heard this house has two extraordinary ghosts. One is apparently a handsome, dashing man, and the other is a terrible, ugly old hag. A what? A terrible, ugly old hag, darling. Tell us more. Uh, Amanda, why don't you tell them about your science studies? Well, I'm really interested in DNA research. For example, the way genes are affected by regulatory molecular activators. Yes. The question is, how do the activators help in genetic encoding? With RNA polymerase. <gasps> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Very good, Amanda. Oh, yes, he's great in science. Just don't ask about history. Oh, nonsense. All prospective Concord Tech students know the basics of American history, don't they, Amanda? Uh... For example, April 19th, 1775. April 19th? Oh, I that one. You know, it, it's funny what a long ride it is over here. <laughs> the British are coming. The British are coming. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> Amanda, honey, I couldn't find Miss Gordon because she's here. Talking to... Excuse me. I'm losing my mind. I have to go now. Maybe. 
My favorite brother-in-law. You can see him? We really must be talking. No, 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 wait. We'll see ourselves out. Thank you. Come by the school tomorrow, Amanda, for your interview. I'm looking forward to seeing you in my classes. Thank you. What did you do to my living room? <laughs> Watch out for the trench. <laughs> so, when you're translucent, we're the only ones that can see you? Mm -hmm. I mean, you told them it's your life. Everyone can see you. This is my fault, isn't it? I've been cursed. I know. <laughs> David, you know... There really isn't any reason why this can't all work out. There's things we haven't even begun to do. Mm -hmm. That's true. I still have a job. Daddy, I can say something. Jack really did help. And Cassandra was great. Oh, it's Jack and Cassandra now, is it? <laughs> You're not suggesting we let them stay. Yeah! <laughs> My own kid's turning against me. You always talk about preserving America's heritage. And here it is, right in front of us. <laughs> That's not fair, using the flag. Is that a yes? Well, all right. But first thing tomorrow, we're making up some new rules. Oh, you'll never regret it. Peace and harmony. Just like the Waltons. <laughs> <laughs> A music idol goes to court and his fans rock the house on a hopping episode of Night Court tonight at 11.30. Next, Joan Collins stars in Monte Carlo here on TV2.